Welcome to today's game between the all-time San Francisco Giants and the all-time Los Angeles Dodgers. These two iconic franchises trace their history all the way back to New York of the late 1800s. Today, we will see these two organizations go at each other through the use of Strat-O-Matic baseball. So step into the time machine as we take you back for an epic matchup between two baseball stalwarts in the Giants and Dodgers. Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. I'm here with another all-time game. And this one is going to be a classic matchup, probably the most iconic matchup you would get. For baseball, it's going to be the all-time San Francisco slash New York Giants taking on the all-time Los Angeles slash Brooklyn Dodgers. And uh, the rules are going, I'm going to play by the same rules that I played in the past with the other all-time games. Now, the sets that are, or the cards that I'm using in this game are actually not from my collection. These cards were on the Facebook uh, Homebrew. Somebody on uh, Facebook Homebrew put together these all-time teams. And I think he put together like every, every all-time team. And a uh, friend of mine, Scott Needle, who I played a hockey game with on the channel, brought this to my attention and he sent me these two teams because these were the next two teams I was going to play. And luckily, I didn't have to rifle through my collection to get these cards. Now, as you will recall, in the past, when I did the other games, I did not use Park Effects because uh, I had various cards potentially uh, that might be in use for those games that did not have park effects on them because the cards were made, they were part of the original set and, uh, you know, from like the 70s and the 80s before uh, Stratomatic used park effects in their cards. So for consistency state sake, because all of these cards do have the park effects in them, but for consistency sake, I am going to not use them also for this game. So we will not be using card effects or uh, park effects. Whenever there's a park effect, we are just going to read whatever the reading is going to be, whatever the, uh, the card says. So... Uh, I think that's everything. I think everything is out of the way here. Uh, today on the mound, the matchup is going to be Rube Marquard for the visiting San Francisco slash New York Giants and for the uh, homestanding Los Angeles slash Brooklyn Dodgers will be Sandy Koufax, the left-hander Sandy Koufax. I will go over the lineups as they come up, and uh, the first one to come up is going to be the Giants, so we'll go over their lineup. Uh, the first batter for the Giants will be Freddie Lindstrom, and he's playing third base today. Second batter is the Say Hey Kid, Willie Mays, and he'll be in center field. Batting third is going to be Barry Bonds. Now, as a side note, uh, Bobby Bonds is on the team, but he isn't playing today. Or at least uh, he's not in the starting lineup. But his son Barry is, and he will be the DH. Batting in the cleanup spot, we're going to have Willie McCovey playing first base. Then you're going to have Kevin Mitchell, the left fielder from the uh, Giants of the 90s, I believe. And then uh, we're going to have Jeff Kent at second base, batting sixth. In right field, you're going to have Jack Clark. Now, there may have been better right fielders I could have picked from, but Jack Clark was one of my favorite players of all time, and so he will be playing today. That brings us to the number eight batter, and that's going to be Roger Bresnahan, the catcher. And batting in the ninth spot will be the shortstop for the Giants, Travis Jackson. And so with all of that out of the way, let's get going with this uh the first batter is going to be and in fact i'll put these i'll put the roll the dice roller thing right here in the middle uh the first batter is going to be freddie lindstrom as we said and he's going up against sandy koufax and that is going to be a four five batting right and that's going to be a strikeout surprisingly <laughs> strikeout for lindstrom and uh Koufax gets the K. We're going to Willie Mays, the Say Hey Kid. 
And he is going to get a 1-4 against uh, Koufax, who, as we said, is a lefty. And that's going to be a ground ball to first base. Which brings up Barry Bonds. And Barry Bonds is going to get a 6-12 batting left. And that's going to be a fly ball to right. So, um, Koufax retires the Giants 1-2-3. And that means we have to go over the Giants lineup. The Giants will start with leadoff hitter Jackie Robinson playing second base. Batting second will be Pee Wee Reese, the shortstop. In the third spot, we're going to have Zach Wheaton. He's the DH today. Uh, the cleanup hitter is going to be Duke the Duke, Duke Snyder in center field. Carl Ferrillo, the right fielder, bats fifth. Justin Turner is going to play third base and bat sixth. In the seventh spot, you're going to have Steve Garvey at first base. Uh, batting eighth is going to be Pete Riser. He's the left fielder today. And batting in the ninth spot and catching for the Dodgers will be Mike Sosha, former manager of the L.A. Angels. And uh, Jackie Robinson is here, and he's leading off against Rube Marquardt. And that is going to be a 2-10 uh, against a lefty. Two lefties going today. And that just happens to be a single. So Jackie Robinson is aboard with a hit. Marquardt has given up the first hit of the game. You've got Jackie Robinson aboard. Now let's see what his stealing is. He is a stealing A. I think he's going to try to steal. And that is a 13. So a stealing A is a 1 to 15. And uh, what is the arm on uh, Bresnahan. It is a negative two, so that would be a uh, that would be barely making it into second base. So he does steal the base. And now he's at second with Pee Wee Reese up. And he gets a one eight and one eight against the lefty for Pee Wee Reese is going to be a fly to left. So there's one down. And that brings up the Zach man, Zach Wheat. And he's going to get a 2-4 against a lefty, and that's going to be a fly to right. So two away, and you can see why they decided to steal with Robinson. Scoring is going to be at a premium, I think, in this game with these two pitching. And Duke Snyder is the batter and he gets a 6-3 batting left and uh, that's going to be a walk so Duke Snyder is aboard with a walk there are two guys on and with two on and two out you've got uh, Carl Ferrillo and he gets a 4-9 batting right against um, against Marquardt, and that's going to be a fly to left. So that's a, an F7 and no run. So we go to the top of the second in a scoreless game, and uh, as always, or at least not as always, but my new method here, you've got the uh, inning marker right here, and then you've got the score right there. So you can always refer to and see what the score is. The only problem with having the dice tower right here is if there's a guy on second, I might forget to take him off the base because he is behind the dice tower. So, uh, Willie McCovey is the batter going up against Koufax. And he gets a 1-8 against the lefty, and that's going to be a single. So, the Giants get their first hit of the game, and that's with McCovey. Gets a hit off of the great Koufax. And one on Kevin Mitchell up. Kevin Mitchell getting a 4-5 batting right. And that's going to be a strikeout. Yes. So Koufax with his second K of the game. You can expect probably that he's going to rack up a lot of those. Jeff Kent is up with one down and one on. 
And that is going to be a 1-9 against the lefty. That's going to be a strikeout. So there's two down quickly. And we have Jack Clark. My main man, Jack Clark. And he gets a 6-12 batting right. And that is going to be a... That's going to be a line out to third base. Line out five gets a zero for the Giants, and we will go to the bottom of the second with Justin Turner. Justin Turner still playing baseball, though I think he's on, forget what team, maybe the Blue Jays now? Um, that is going to be a 1-9 batting right against Marquard, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Turner with the K, Marquard with the K, <laughs> and up steps Steve Garvey. Steve Garvey, the thing is still rolling around 5-6, batting right, and that's going to be a strikeout. So Garvey strikes out, Marquardt is racking those up. He's tied now with Koufax for two on the game with two down. And Pete Rise is the batter, and he gets a 5-7 batting left, and that is going to be a ground ball second base X. We have our first X of the game, um, and that's going to be testing the second baseman for the Dodgers, who is, of course, Jackie Robinson, and he is a 2-E-9 and that is a 14. So uh, that is going, no, that's going to be on here. It's a ground ball. So it's a 4 to 3. And no runs come in in the second for the Dodgers. And we will go to the uh, top of the third in a scoreless game here, as you can see. And Roger Bresnahan, the catcher, steps in against Koufax, and he gets a 1-6, and that's going to be a single. So the Giants get another hit, another hit off of um, Koufax. And the batter is Travesty Jackson, the shortstop, and he gets a 1-2, which will be a pop-out to third base. So there's one out. One down, one on, and Freddie Lindstrom back to the start of the Giants lineup, the top of the lineup for them. 4-10 batting right against uh, Koufax is going to be a catcher card X, and uh, the catcher for these guys is a 2-E-4. That is a 7. I'm going to guess it's an out, but we'll see. And it is a pop-out, so two away. And uh, pop out to two, which brings up Willie Mays, the Say Hey Kid, with a man aboard and two down. And he gets a 6-8 batting right. And that is going to be a fly ball to left. So Mays is, uh, if you're keeping track at home, he's 0 for 2. <laughs> So, but that's, I mean, there are going to be a lot of great batters in this game that are going to be, to get, uh, they're going to get the golden sombrero. Um, Mike Sosha is the batter, the last batter, the ninth batter in the Dodger lineup against Marquardt. And uh, that is going to be a 4-3, and he's batting left, and that is going to be a fly ball to right. The right fielder for the Giants is my man Clark. He is a 3 e six. That is a four. I don't like the looks of that. Four and a three is a double. So, <laughs> you know, you live by the sword and you die by the sword. And my main man out there, Clark, gives up a double. And um, that'll go on Marquard's record. He's probably gl glaring out at Clark right now. So there's one man up at second with no outs and Jackie Robinson. And he is going to get a 2-7 against a lefty, and that's going to be a fly ball to left. So one away, and 
That brings up Pee Wee, Pee Wee Reese. And Pee Wee Reese is going to get a 5-7, and he is batting right against um, against Varquard, right? And uh, that's going to be a ground ball to second. The second baseman for them is a 3-E-13, and that is a 19. That is probably an out. 19-3 it is, and the runner stays where he is. So he goes out 4-3. And Zach Wheat is the batter. And Zach Wheat gets a 5-6, batting right. And that is going to be a strikeout. So Zach Wheat with the K. And Marquard getting the K. That's his third of the game. And we are going to the top of the fourth. And I have to keep... I have to keep uh, keep it up here on the scorebook. I'm not keeping it as well on the scorebook as on the field. So we're in the top of the fourth with Barry Bonds. And he is batting against Koufax. And he gets a 2-7 against the lefty. And that is going to be a home run. Barry Bonds goes deep. Off of Koufax, and Koufax can't believe it. And the Giants take a one nothing lead. And that brings up Willie McCovey. Willie McCovey, another good home run hitter. He could poke one out right here. And he gets a 1-8 against the lefty, and that's going to not be a poke, but it is going to be a single. So Willie McCovey's aboard. And now all of a sudden, they are hitting Koufax. They're, they're uh, getting some good contact, some good wood on the ball against Koufax and Mitchell's. Up. Mitchell getting a 3-7 against the lefty, and that's going to be a ground ball shortstop double play. So that's going to be your old classic 6-4-3 double play. And uh, there are going to be two outs now with nobody on. And up steps Jeff Kent. Of course, Jeff Kent, he can poke it too. 5-10, batting right. And that's going to be a walk. So Jeff Kent works his way aboard. He works the count. And uh, Koufax seems to be a little shaken here now by this Giants lineup. And uh, Jack Clark is the batter. Trying to atone for the bad play the other inning. And he does not do that. He hits a ground ball to the shortstop. So he goes out 6-3. And the Giants get a run. They get a run on a Barry Bonds home run. We go to the bottom of the fourth. And it is 1-0. And I have to go get the one for the Giants. So let's go check it out. So it is one nothing Giants. And Zach Wheat is up here in the bottom of the... Or no, is it Duke Snyder? Is it Duke Snyder? Yeah, it's Duke Snyder. So Duke Snyder is up here as the first batter in the fourth for the, uh, for the Dodgers. And he gets a 4-8 batting left. And that's going to be a fly ball right, one away. So Snyder flies out. That brings up Carl Ferrillo. one nine. That is going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. So he goes out. Two away. And with two down and nobody on, it's Justin Turner. And he gets a 2-5 against a lefty, and that is going to be a single. So Justin Turner gets aboard with a hit. And uh, Marquard gives the hit up. And that brings to the plate Steve Gard. Steve Garvey, let's see what that is. That's a three, so it's a one-three against the lefty, and that's going to be a ground ball to the first baseman. 
and the Dodgers get no runs, we go to the top of the fifth inning. Top of the fifth inning, it is one nothing, with Roger Bresnahan batting. And again, if there are any Giants, now obviously I didn't pick this team, but if there's any Giants or Dodgers that you, maybe you're a Giants fan, maybe you're a Dodgers fan, and you're looking for a certain guy and wondering why I didn't play him, don't read anything into it. It's just, this is the lineup that I picked. So anyway, Bresnahan is the uh, batter here in the top of the fifth. And he gets a 4-7 batting right, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Bresnahan with the K, Koufax striking him out. That's his fourth strikeout of the game for Koufax. Um, Travis Jackson is up. He gets a 6-8 batting right, and that is going to be a fly ball to left. And finally, Lindstrom, Lindstrom, back to the top of the Giants lineup with two outs. And he gets a 6-7 batting right, and that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. The second baseman is a 2-E-9. That is a 7. My guess would be that that will be an out, and it is. He goes 4-3. And the Giants get nothing in the fifth. Right now, this game is one nothing on a Barry Bonds home run. We go to the bottom of the fifth. And Pete Reiser of the Dodgers is the batter. And he gets a 6-9 batting left. And that is going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. So um, that's 4-3 with one down. And Mike Sosha up. Mike Sosha getting a 2-5, and that is going to be a pop-out to second base. And with two down really quickly, that brings up Jackie Robinson in the top of the Dodger line. And he gets a 1-10, and that is going to be a pop-out to the shortstop. So we end the game, or we end the uh, inning, the fifth inning, with two pop-outs for the Giants. We go to the top of the sixth, and the score is still one nothing, as you can see from my scoreboard, my makeshift scoreboard that I have here. Willie Mays is the batter here in the sixth inning, and that is going to be a two-eight going up against the lefty, and it's a home run. Willie Mays extends the lead for the Giants here to lead off. And now you can bet Koufax is a little shell-shocked. And, uh, yeah, he's down 2 nothing. And uh, with the way Marquardt's pitching, that might just be enough. But Barry Bonds comes up. Barry Bonds is going to get a 3-5. That is not his column. It's going to be a fly to left, one away. And that brings up Willie McCovey. One down, nobody on. But a run already across. 6-3, batting left. And that is going to be a fly ball to the left fielder. The left fielder for the Dodgers is a 1-E-6. And that is a 9. And that is going to be... It's going to be on the E6. We're going to have to check the air rating. And that is an 11. And that is going to be a fly ball B. So a fly out to left for McCovey. Last two guys flying out. McCovey and Bonds. And that brings Kevin Mitchell up. Kevin Mitchell, good power. And that gets a 3-2 against a lefty, and that's a fly ball left field. So the last three, uh, the first guy hits a home run, and then the next three guys fly out to left. But that home run does give the Giants a 2-0 lead. So let's go get the two. Let's go get the two for the Giants. 
and it is to Zipolo here, and Pee Wee Reese is up for the Dodgers. Both pitchers still out there. I mean, they're pitching well. Uh, you know, two runs for the all-time Giants. You know, you got to consider that's probably pretty, pretty good. Pee Wee Reese is up, and he we are in the bottom of the sixth. And he gets a 1-7, at least from my perspective, that's a 1-7. And that is going to be a walk. So Pee Wee Reese is aboard. And who wants to see some extra baseball? Because that's possible here. It's still only, it's still not, you know, out of uh, out of reach here. And Zach Wheat is the batter. Zach Wheat getting a 3-6. And you're going to have to see that that is going to be a single. And I don't know if we're going to send the batter, that's or the runner. That is Pee Wee Reese. Right now, he's at second, but he is a running one to 17. We are definitely going to send him. And he does make it because the the best arm in this game is a negative five. And even if you had a negative five right there, uh, you would still have made it. So um, that is going to be a... Uh, two, uh, a single with the runner advancing two bases. Runners are now at the corners with nobody out and Duke Snyder up there. Giants are going to play back because they have a, a two-run lead. Hoping for the double play. And that is a 2-8 against the lefty. And that is not going to be a double play. It's going to be a double. So <laughs> that knocks in at least one. Snyder with the D, and, uh, and I got to catch up here because Marquardt has just given up like uh, two hits and a walk and a run, at least one run. And the runner is, and uh, Pee Wee Reese is the guy who scored. So now the runner is Zach Wheat. Let's see what he is running. He is a 1-13. to 13. I think they're just going to let him stop right there because they got runners at second and third with no one out. And Ferrillo up. And he gets a 112 against the lefty. That's going to be a line out into a triple play. Line out into the shortstop max. So, <laughs> oh man, line out, triple. I'm just going to put line out TP. So, <laughs> uh, I don't even want to consider how that might have happened. So, uh, we've got, where is that guy? There he is. All right. So, um, that was that was absolutely critical right there. Um, the Dodgers do get a run though, so we're you know we don't want to take that away from them. Let's see where the run is. Yeah, there it is. So it is two to one right now. Unbelievable triple play pulled off as we go to I believe the top of the seventh. Yes, we do with Jeff Kent. The batter and the Giants ahead by a run. A scant run. And that is a 4-6 um, against uh, Koufax. And that's going to be a strikeout. So Kent with the strikeout. And uh, he's striking out against uh, Koufax. Who now has five strikeouts on the game. That brings up Jack Clark, one away. He gets a 4-9 batting right. And uh, let's see, 4-9 is going to be a strikeout. So he's racking up the Ks, Koufax is. But he's still on the losing end of this game because Ferrillo hit into a triple play last inning. And Roger Bresnahan gets a 2 Six and two six um, against the lefty. That's going to be a walk. So Bresnahan gets a board with a walk, and Koufax walking his second man of the game. But there is two out, and Travis Jackson. Up. And Travis Jackson gets a 5-9 batting right. And that is going to be a single double asterisk. No, it's going to be a triple. Triple. A triple and the Giants extend their lead. So let's 
Travis Jackson with a huge hit right there. Knox in Bresnahan with the walk after two strikeouts. Looked like a pretty harmless inning here, but it turns out it really is not. And um, we have to go get the three. I'm going to pause and get the three because, you know, that's what I'm going to do. So we want to keep you right up to date. It's 3 nothing with a man 90 feet away and two out. And Lindstrom back to the top of the lineup for the Giants. So they are all over Koufax here. It is all over you can be for a 6-12 against a lefty. Uh, or a right-handed batter, uh, six twelve is going to be a line out to third base. So Lindstrom lines out, but that is another run for the Giants, who go to the bottom of the seventh with a three to one lead. And Justin Turner is the Gi is the Dodgers batter. And he gets a 1-8, and against a lefty, that is going to be a single. So Justin Turner's aboard, and the single was um, allowed by Marquard. That's a six hit allowed. Both pitchers have allowed six hits. Uh, Steve Garvey is up. Nobody out and a man aboard, and a 212 against the lefties, a pop out to short, two away, or one away. Sorry. And Pete Riser is the batter. Pete Riser gets a 5 6 batting left, and that's going to be a strikeout. So Marquard with his fourth strikeout doesn't really uh, match up with as, as many as Koufax has, but he is the winning pitcher so far, and Mike Sosh is the batter. And he gets a 5-7 batting left, and that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. Their second baseman is a 3-E-13. That is a 5, and we'll see what that is. Five and three is a ground ball, so it's four to three. And the Dodgers don't get anything there. We go to the top of the eighth with the Giants batting in the top of the eighth inning, and we are going to take Koufax out. So Koufax only goes seven. He goes seven, he allows six hits and three runs. I mean, that's pretty pedestrian <laughs> for Koufax, but it is the all-time Giants that he's uh, pitching against. And they are going to bring in, the uh, Dodgers are going to bring in Tom Needenfuhrer. So Needenfuhrer is a new pitcher. And he's going up against Willie Mays. you got to believe he's a little shell-shocked to see Willie Mays up in the batter's box against him. Here in the bottom of the seventh, um... Or no, this is the, what is this? The top of the eighth. Top of the eighth. And that is a 6-8 for Mays, batting right. And that's going to be a single. So Willie Mays gets a board. And Willie Mays today is two for four with a home run. He is a stealing B, but we'll let him stand right there because Barry Bonds is the next batter. And uh, I don't know what happened to that dice, so we're going to just use the backup die and roll that. And that is a 4-8 uh, for a lefty. And that's going to be a strikeout. So... Needing fewer strikes out bonds. And the first guy got a hit, so we have to mark that down. Uh, so man aboard at first with one down and McCovey up. And he gets a 6-9 batting left. And that is going to be a home run, Willie McCovey. 
So, uh, yeah, it's getting bad for the Dodgers here now. As they just knocked in, uh, McCovey just knocked in two more runs. Needin Fear gives up a hit and two runs, and Mitchell will be the batter, but we're going to have to put the Giants. Um, the Giants' new number is five. We're going to have to put that up. And it is five to one, Giants. They're, they're winning big here with Mitchell coming to the plate against Needenfear. And he gets a three five batting uh, against a righty, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Needenfear with a second strikeout, but he gave up two runs, so. Whatever guys he's striking out doesn't really matter. Jeff Kent. Jeff Kent with a 1 4, and that's going to be a ground ball to the second baseman. So he goes 4 to 3. And uh, yeah, they get. Um, they get. Wait a minute. The Giants. Yeah, they get two more runs right there, and they have a 5 to 1 lead. We're going to the bottom of the eighth. And uh, they're going to take Marquard out, although he's pitched well. We will let some other guys get some playing time here. Uh, might be a bad idea, though, because Marquard was pitching really, really great. But, uh, as luck would have it, that isn't going to be what what's, keeps happening. And we they're going to bring in Gary Lavelle. Gary Lavelle will be the new Giants pitcher. And uh, going up against Mike Sosha. Let's see. No, not Mike Sosha. It's going to be the top of the lineup and Jackie Robinson. Because Sosha made the last out. And that is going to be a 4 6 batting right. Um against Lavelle, and that's going to be a strikeout. So, Robinson with the K, Lavelle, the one who delivered the K, one down, and Pee Wee Reese up. Pee Wee Reese getting a 6-7, and 6-7 uh, is going to be a uh, single. So, Pee Wee Reese is aboard anyway. And Pee Wee Reese today is 0 for 3, but with a walk. So, Lavelle allows a hit. And Zach Weed is up. And that is going to be a 6 2 batting left. And that's going to be a line out to second base. And there's two down. Two down with a man at first, and Duke, 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 Duke of Earl Snyder is up, and he gets a 3-5 batting against Lavelle, who is a lefty, and that is going to be a strikeout. So Lavelle with the K, at least they brought in another lefty, because obviously this lineup isn't doing well against lefties. We go to the top of the ninth. And um, Needin Fear will come out. He only goes one inning. It was one very bad inning. If you're a Dodger fan, and they will bring in um, they're going to bring in Ken Kenley Jensen. to face this Giants lineup, which will start with Jack Clark. And he gets a 2-9, and that is going, Jensen is a righty, so that's going to be a ground ball third base. 5-3, one away. Up steps Bresnahan. 
Bresnahan with a 310. That's going to be a single. So Roger Bresnahan works his way aboard. And today he is uh, two for three with a walk. Travis Jackson up. Travis Jackson with a 1-7 is going to be a ground ball, third base B, two away. So now he's aboard. And Freddie Lindstrom. Freddie Lindstrom, top of the lineup, gets a single. So there is a base hit. And that brings to the plate Willie Mays, who has a home run today. He is, in fact, uh, two for four with a homer and a single. And he gets a 5-8 batting right, and that's going to be a strikeout. Right there, he gets a strikeout from Kenley Jensen. And so now we go to uh, the bottom of the ninth. The Dodgers are losing 5-1. They need four runs right here. And uh, Carl Ferrillo is the man who might lead that out, although he is the guy that might have cost him a few runs by hitting into a triple play uh, back in the um, sixth inning. So anyway, he's up right now. Um, you know what? We're going to take Lavelle out, too. We're going to let Lavelle, uh, you know, we're trying to give people some playing time here. So Lavelle will come out, and we will bring in Moonman Minton. Greg Minton will be the new Giants pitcher. And the uh, batter, as I said, is Carl Ferrillo. But they need four runs. And that's going to be a 2-7 Minton is a righty, and that is going to be a fly ball to the left fielder. Yeah. One down. The Giants are down to their la or the Dodgers are down to their last two outs. Justin Turner. Justin Turner with a 3-2. That is going to be a fly to center. And they are down to their last out, and that is going to be in the form of Steve Garvey, the first baseman, and he gets a 4-5 batting right, and that is going to be a fly ball to right field, and there were fly outs to all three outfields in that last inning, and that is your final score. The score is 5-1. Uh, to one. This is really the first game that uh, really wasn't that good. <laughs> it was a four-run difference, but anyway, 5-1, the all-time Giants beat the all-time Dodgers.